so why are you pat right after completion of my course i got an opportunity to work with a company completely into algo side that was my first journey then oh then it's completely changed then over the period i got multiple opportunities like working offline uh, and working as a consultant for a couple of investors talking with their trades so uh, this is kumar i've been uh, working in a quant field you know from past uh, 10 years uh, i started my journey as a like normal analyst uh, building financial models in excel and automating the excel sheets using vpa and then uh, then i wanted to like move on to the the financial field into a deeper uh, basically understand what is basically numbers then i have pursued my masters after that after that i got it a job in building uh, portfolio models from there i like i been doing trading manually uh, on and off not like a proper trader then i i mean i started journey with some of the technical rules then following these technical rules manually placing the orders manually and like, executing it but what i observed is like if i if i wanted to automate the these trades it would have been better psychologically as well as managing the trades so at that time like this is around like 2014 2015 time where uh, you know i want i was basically looking looking to basically any course which can help me to basically introduce to algo trading i also thought of you know join financial engineering course but 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 again i already did masters at that time so there was so i was looking at something which is part time then luckily i came across quantinsty then then the journey is altogether different thing so then yeah from that time from it's more it's almost 5 years now i like now i'm basically now basically trading automatically and then most of my time is now dedicated to research rather than placing orders manually so my day so most of the time like like market during market hours will monitor uh, the the performance of the algo or see any hiccups but apart from the market you know i like playing the uh, tennis and uh, i i like playing violin these are two things and then apart from that coming to family you know most of my time will go away managing my kid so he goes here and there feeding him taking him to school so that is one uh, and also he is like one of the uh i could say uh, how do we put it so we can even you know i would say we can even learn from this kind of these kids so they are like trying to do something and they are not achieve in the first instance or second instance so they they keep trying it until they achieve it so that is what one thing which i learned from my kid and then even i'm trying it at uh, you know this algo trading also uh luckily yeah, as you mentioned uh, my journey was completely into financial field but not into trading though financial field is as in like you know i started journey with analyzing you know, balance sheets and balance statements and building financial models but uh, yeah trading trading was something which i want to implement and uh, you know convert these what's happening in financial models why don't i you know implement myself and then see what the result so that is where i started okay you know started a journey with uh, you know uh, positional trading like see the balance sheet of couple of uh, securities read them and then you know you know place them annually based on their uh, quarterly reports but then over the period uh, we have got intraday data and then uh, so uh, like even over the period of like decade right we have the data uh, data analytics and data also increased a lot which which help me out you know to basically reduce the frequency and then increase the research on the on the data and then automate the trades so during my masters right uh, period 12 2012 to 2014 so we we have a course on uh, you know options option trading uh, option analysis basically uh, then from there you know we got introduced to basel models and then uh, and then basically option trading 
then over the period we have i mean done re- something research on okay can we can some traits be automated when we are building models why don't we automate the traits also so that is where you know research started and then yeah, luckily came across quantum state basically 2014 right there were no brokers also like who were uh, like no broker apis or no broker who's giving a uh, 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 flexibility to basically place orders automatically for retail traders now it was everything easy because it's, uh 2016 or 15 i think zero the started but again the, you know it's a fast broker and there are so many bugs then over the period also we have learned and they are stabilized even we are stabilized now uh, initially it started with need basis because you know i told you right i my career was completely you know reading into balance sheets and then uh, you know looking looking basically companies from the uh, balance sheet perspective or pnl perspective now from uh, epat right it entirely changed my view you know there is another view where you can you can analyze companies that is like looking at look at the data look at the uh, apart, i mean apart from that there is a technical technical analysis though but uh, yeah the, the epat completely changed my view of how to look uh, look basically companies not from the you know financial perspective but from the data perspective so from there on you know it it completely changed uh personal life true there are basically again two things professional life and uh, uh, during i mean due to epat right i got multiple opportunities so it so you know even though we have learned something you know unless until you apply it you know we don't learn or there's no point of learning it so epat so you, the primary 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 thought joining epat is to basically learn algo trading yeah epat gave me that one but you know I, even i want to explore via jobs or basically any, entering into any companies to learn this one so via epat right after um, basically after completion of my course maybe like within one year or something i got an opportunity to work with a company completely into algo side that was my first journey then oh then it's completely changed then over the period i got multiple opportunities like working offline uh, and working as a consultant for a couple of investors to open their trades that is from the professional side and personal side yes and as like you no know, it helped me to basically to concentrate more on the research and see whether you know we can make any breakthrough over the you know strategies so e part i could say you know initially we, i mean at that time right we started our e part gave me introduction to like simple uh, strategy like moving average and then advanced topic like micro market microstructure so the key, the primary thing which i learned is okay people are looking at something different which is basically my market microstructure and from there mm-hmm. i started uh, you know concentrate more on what is this microstructure and how do we basically read about read this order book and then con- uh, concentrate more on yes, more, right, right. more time right. on to this topic then yeah develop a couple of strategies deploy them and even raise money on the same topic a basically on tip strategy that was a good uh, learning but again you know if, so you pet it it taught me how uh, you know looking at data uh design help in designing strategies but again it's it's come it's again an algo trading right there is another perspective back testing is one thing where you know you can keep doing research you can keep developing models but unless until you take it live it's completely again different experience so in the live market live market execution is one thing where you know i don't know whether people fail but i failed at initial stages because placing at market orders placing stop loss orders how do you execute orders that is the main primary primary thing where you know you can optimize your pnl on execution part these are the two learnings which you know which algo trading or in the journey towards algo trading you know help me out prior to you part right again it's only fundamental analysis i was just started technical analysis at that time but i'm not sure you know how to implement it or how to back test it even moving average i'm not sure like how to do about it then if i if i 
you know i we started with okay excel take the data in excel on a, like a daily data and then do some simple moving average test and then automate it by changing the parameters that was my first like first strategy development i could say uh using the pattern i mean in the pad then then it completely changed okay then i have i think i have explored most of the technical analysis rules uh then then microstructure rules then quant based rules yes so but okay. i think like it is not only epat it it gave a foundation stone us but apart from that now you have to be a part of various uh, blogs like quantech received one of the blog where which which basically people post on various their ideas research papers so that is one which i follow regularly i could see epat gave enough opportunities of are doing epat given enough opportunities at least to attend interviews initially so do you take like 2015 or 14 time right i where i finished epat i mean do you, uh, with epat also we got couple of opportunities initially to attend the algo trading job or pawn quest roles even from outside i have applied couple of pawn quest algo trading roles yes initial 6 months i could say 6 months to 1 year right it took time for me to understand what kind of you know how people are basically expecting from the candidates and uh, what kind of you know uh, technologies we have to learn or uh, uh, or basically statistical methods which we need to be good at so initial 6 months 6 months to 8 months after epat went into you know giving interviews or basically learning these kind of uh, uh topics then luckily again we got another uh, interview from uh, epat only i got i got through it and then uh, things changed but yes initially you can't take, i mean i don't know whether people are lucky but i'm not lucky with after completing epat i job, got a job in algo trading it took time because i was not a i was not a coder and i'm not from the you know engineering background so i have to learn coding from my uh, by myself and then even uh, you know statistical methods by myself and then yeah, convert into the algo trading field initially we started with you know you know setting up algo desk or something i don't know how to start yeah. it then i when i got it some dot related to microstructure i can mail it so quantity is in all the way in a help like you know, helping me basically in setting up or basically turning me from normal a uh, person or into an algo trader uh algo trading i stopped basically in during you know from march to i could say the next 3 4 months because volatility is too too high i we just buy equity and leave it so yeah those couple of months right i didn't do any research or something but yeah managing managing family or managing kid was the primary thing you know you know you will sit at home will not go anywhere and you will become bored and then you have to manage your uh, what you call your uh, a uh, in a space or mind space which which was very difficult to manage actually so what's happened but luckily it's like things changed now at least we are we are now we are open to go out walk around that that is that was really i mean i could i don't say it's a difficult phase but an interesting phase where you basically you learned yourself how to be with the others or basically managing the family we have to keep learning that is one sure and also since if anyone is looking into algo trading right he should mm-hmm. be really good in coding so coding practice coding and practice first the coding then yes market knowledge is you know primary not primary thing i say it's a secondary thing but and everyone can learn market knowledge easily so anyone who is joining epat or want to go into algo trading right so first try to see what you what you want to achieve like you are if you are a student or if you are someone who want to change your field or get a job in algo trading that is that that is a different perspective or if you are a trade already a trader or individual who want to start an algo desk and want to know what is uh, in and outs so that is a different perspective so once you have a clear picture on your perspective then you can you know decide on how to go about it if you are if you have if you are coming from uh, if you are person with first perspective then you should be really good in coding or you should practice coding a lot then uh, then start applying for the jobs 
if you are person with the second perspective right well, you, that sounds right so if you have a person from second perspective then get an overview of what is what and if that is helpful in uh, you know giving an over- overview of you know what's happening around algo trading then start looking uh, maybe out for pick up a guy who is good in coding and then start your journey with the uh, algo desk so these are the two things which you know which you can look into before starting any uh, your journey into algo trading